What is going on everybody? I hope you're enjoying your Friday afternoon so far. This is MYG Jeffy T3285 and I'm here to just update you on the recent news surrounding Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, and the Brooklyn Nets. Now we all know about the turmoil that's been going around this franchise ever since the vaccination status that happened during the season, ever since Kevin Durant dealing with an MCL injury during the season, the James Harden trade rumors, the first round exit, against the Boston Celtics in four games, and obviously what's been going on this offseason with the fact that Kyrie Irving has slowly wanted to be out of here and try to move his way over to the Los Angeles Lakers, and Kevin Durant at the beginning of the offseason in July requesting a trade to leave the Nets on the beginning of this offseason. While the latest reports that have dropped surrounding these two players, one comes from the New York Daily News' Christian Winfield, and that the Lakers are now willing to include both of their team future first round picks in 2027 and 2029 to help facilitate a trade for Kyrie Irving to the Los Angeles Lakers. But one of the unfortunate sticking points in this trade negotiations right now is the fact that the Nets have absolutely no desire right now to bring back Russell Westbrook in any type of trade for Kyrie Irving. So that's going to be one of the biggest sticking points right now in any type of trade involving the Los Angeles Lakers and the Brooklyn Nets when it concerns Kyrie Irving. So you have to wonder if that the Nets are going to try to negotiate with the Lakers to try to maybe get another draft pick included, as well as maybe try to get a young player or two to be thrown in with Kyrie Irving, or maybe have the Lakers try to take on some of Kyrie Irving's salary that he would be making with the Brooklyn Nets right now going forward, or, of course, take on some of Russell Westbrook's salary that he'd be taking on, that he's been making right now with the Los Angeles Lakers going, in, like, going into the 2022-2023 season. So... There's going to be a lot more negotiation taxes, tactics going through this whole thing. So you have to wonder right now if really the biggest holdup in this whole trade that's going down and the fact that the Lakers are right now even sweetening the pot even more by the fact they're offering their 2027 and 2029 first round picks in a deal for Kyrie Irving is that the Lakers, the Nets right now have just have no desire right now to trade for somebody like Russell Westbrook because of the fact that he's got deteriorating skills right now in the NBA. He's mostly known as just a jump shooter, he's a good shooter, he could still put up at least 25 points per game, but the point, the fact of the matter is, his all-around game is deteriorating, he is getting up there in age, he's not the player he was before, and he's just a guy that's going to chuck up shots, and his defensive game is nowhere near where the Nets were hoping it could be, so the Nets are just very hesitant on bringing in a guy like Kevin, uh, like Russell Westbrook going forward, so it could hold up any type of trade between the Nets and Lakers going forward for Kyrie Irving going to L.A. and Russell Westbrook and first-round picks coming back to the Nets. Now, another report that's coming out surrounding Kevin Durant comes from Mark Stein of NBA.com. He is reporting this past Thursday that there's growing belief amongst the, NFL, the NBA teams that Kevin Durant is trying to really manufacture a trade right now from the Brooklyn Nets to any type of team he wants to go to. And he's pretty much forcing his way out of Brooklyn, as we've all pretty much stated going forward, is that Kevin Durant right now looks like he is literally trying to force his way out of Brooklyn at any means necessary. And we all know that Kevin Durant has been in here long enough where he's going to be able to play the long game. But he's going to pretty much be looking at the Nets are going to be pretty much looking at right now what Rudy Gobert got in a return to the Minnesota uh, Timberwolves and what the Utah Jazz got back for him. And that's going to be right now what the Brooklyn Nets are going to be looking for if they want to try to make any trade for Kevin Durant. And as we have already stated, Kevin Durant has signed an extension with the Nets last year, so the Nets are going to have the negotiating powers. But ever Kevin Durant wants to demand a trade anywhere he goes. The Nets have the sticking power, and they can decide what they want to do with Kevin Durant going forward. So it's really just a sticking point for Kevin Durant in terms of his trade negotiations with the Nets going forward. So this is just really another thing to monitor for what Kevin Durant wants and what the Brooklyn Nets are looking for in any type of trade negotiations with Kevin Durant. So it's really just at this point, are the Nets going to fold? That has been the whole question this entire offseason with the Brooklyn Nets when it comes to their superstars. Are they just going to be at a point where they're just going to be too sick and tired of this whole thing and they're just going to want to fold and just get rid of these guys at any cost? Are they going to be able to play the long game and the waiting game and just make Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving sit out pretty much if they don't want to be here? 
Right now, it's a very fluid situation, like I mentioned in my previous videos about this whole thing. Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving right now, it's a waiting game. We have to see what's going to happen going forward. As right now, Kyrie Irving, his interest right now, he says he wants to play with the Nets. But you know in the back of the mind, he probably wants to be traded over to the Lakers. It's just a... Uh, Will the Nets be willing to take on Russell Westbrook at any means necessary if the Lakers are willing to take on a majority of his salary, plus the two first-round picks in 2027 and 2029 do help? And the fact that Kevin Durant is trying so hard to facilitate a trade out of Brooklyn, will the Nets, you know, bend over backwards to try to help out Kevin Durant in any type of trade going forward? Or will the Nets just at this point just be like, you know what? You could try all you want to force your hand out of Brooklyn. We're not going to do it. We want to see... You know, what team is going to be willing to give up the type of offer that we're looking for before we think about facilitating a trade and sending you out of here to where we were. And the Nets are going to have the control. The Nets are going to trade Kevin Durant where they think they're going to get the most back. That's what we've all said this offseason. The Nets have the power. It's just they have to go out there and execute the power and not bow down to what Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving wants. So that's just my latest news surrounding Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving in terms of the trade negotiations out there right now. So if you like this video, please hit the like button below uh, and turn on the bell for notifications on the when the next shorter video drops surrounding the Brooklyn Nets. Subscribe if you haven't already to NYG Jeffy T3285 for more breaking news updates and chatter surrounding the Brooklyn Nets, New York Mets, New York Giants, WWE Wrestling with well food for thought. Turn, uh, leave the comments below on what you think about the latest updates surrounding Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving and what you think is ultimately going to happen with these two players for the rest of this offseason. So I thank you very much, everybody, for watching the video. I appreciate it a lot. I hope everybody enjoys the rest of your Friday afternoon slash evening. Take it easy, and let's go Brooklyn Nets. It's a Nets world, man, and you're just living in it.